Fan and this is episode 8 of The Haunting of Hill House. No, it's not. It's episode 9 of The Haunting of Hill House. <laughs> episode 8 though. Ended with Luke got grabbed by the face. Grabbed, yeah, by Poppy who was married to William who is crazy. Yeah, so I'm just going to get into it. This is episode 9 of The Haunting of Hill House. Let's watch. Yay. On the mum straight away. It was that fun. Hmm. I guess they did. Before the storm. Look at the mum with the twins. Mm. I'll do them. I wish I could just freeze them. Oh, fuck. Keep them just like. Did the house take that literally? I mean, no, I know they grew up, but... No, no. She just... You guys coming? Yeah. yeah. This poor mum, I'm so happy that we're getting her story, but it's fucking scary. She just missed a few minutes. Gave me the strangest dreams. I actually like them. They relax me. My daughter, though, is terrified of them. I hope she moves past that. <gasps> Bitch! I guess it's is Mrs. Dudley imagining that her daughter is... I mean, I don't know, maybe they went on to have more kids. Oh, shit. I feel like, oh, no, I'm scared. <laughs> Let's play. I started bawling. The dam just broke. Right then, I, I heard these taps on the window. Rain. And I thought it was weird because it had been sunny just before and it wasn't supposed to rain. But, but, it, but it got... It, it got violent. I thought it had to be hail. It just had to be making that noise. So I cried harder. The hail came harder She's, too. She controls the weather. I'd been through hail before, but not like that shot them up at the sky. And somehow those feelings came together up there in the atmosphere and fell right back down on me. When daddy died, I made it rain rocks. I think she did. These things make perfect sense when you're a kid. It's only as you grow up that they start to sound crazy. They do not. you said to me before, I just want to pause that now that Mrs. D now that Claire started speaking, because what a monologue, what an actress. I'm not even sure what I'm feeling. She just like made me feel multiple things. I feel bad for the child version of her. I think the child version of her did make it rain. And I know that she's going to die soon. Wow. Let's give it a go. <gasps> the ghost guy. I've seen you before, Who mister. Said no, Luke. She, she can't have your sister's clothes, Luke. Abigail isn't real, Luke. Yes, she is. Tell mom where Abigail lives. In the woods. Shirley, shut up. <laughs> Kids have fun. <laughs> I'll be in my reading room if you need me. True the True Mr. Reading Room. Leave mommy alone. All of them have these it's rooms that the house has created for them, don't they? She's got a reading room, Luke's got a tree house. There's, there's the game room. <gasps> she she's seeing her future daughter's future funeral home. That is Shirley's fucking... <gasps> Her fucking future daughter's dead body. This is... Oh, fuck off, you dickhead. This is... Why are they making her see this shit? While her daughter is currently, like, six years old, she's seeing a, like, 32-year-old version of a dead fucking body. Oh, and then her own, because she was there for Shirley, wasn't she? No, I'm not fucking having it. Luke better survive. 
Oh, fucking, that's what Nelly saw, in it. Fucking hell, Nelly's up. <laughs> this poor fucking mum. It's awful. Fucking, it's a premonition, dude. It's a horrible dream. Oh, it's not a fucking dream. And clearly, it does not. I'm away. so fucking sick of this shit now. <laughs> I've had enough. It was a terrible dream. Terrible premonition. It, might be. it hurts like a bitch. Yeah. Aww. This feels so stupid. Ooh! What the f Where's your mom house? Fucking get up, you light, you heavy sleeper. Poppy, she's gonna fucking go for the husband. Mum, punch her in the face. Well, come on. Shake an egg. <laughs> I love her. I know that she's an evil bitch and that she's got loot. I'm a dream and so are you and so are we. You are a looker, aren't you? Kiss. <laughs> In this room. Losing a child, do you think there's a thing worse than that? No. What the fuck are you doing, Poppy? I don't think there's anything worse than that. I don't think there could be. I had a dream a few nights ago. Why are you Turns telling her? Don't trust this bitch. I dreamed I lost my little girl once. Oh, I dreamed. She was choking on her own body. And it took days, weeks, it took weeks for her to quit gulping that watery air, quit gaping at being finished on the beach, but finally she did. Just on Red's blood and she'd shake. She'd shake so bad the bed would shake. And when she started shaking, it went bad. She dangled. She died. And then my boy. I once dreamed his little legs stopped working it just stopped one day oh no the he house just walk. turns the dreams to he true he stand and he couldn't speak and then he couldn't do anything but banging he stopped crying he stopped at all once he died <sighs> i held him so long he went cold in my arms <laughs> this fucking woman but that was just a dream Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, shit! Oh, fucking hell! <laughs> I was so scared, dude. Oh. A dream about sick and sad and disease and rot and loss and darkness. If they were stuck in that dream, you'd wake them. Thank you. No, no that's bullshit. Change. So that's so. If they were stuck in that dream, you'd wake them. More like if they were living that life, you'd kill them. Is this? I'm still don't understand, but it's freaking me out. Oh, fucking hugely. Oh. oh, for fuck's sake, Mum. Well, make me a kid. She's playing you. Because I got a secret. A way to wake them up. Oh, fuck off. A way to keep them safe. If Killing them. Stuck in the... Oh, and then this is... Move. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> this Please. is... Oh, for fuck's sake. You're oh, fuck. a fucking screwdriver in my throat. <laughs> no, it was. <laughs> it still makes me laugh. But mum, honestly, like... I could see Janet's visage. 
look at her. <laughs> the mum's performance in this scene, when she when she looks up at the husband and says some, I can't remember what she says, but bit like it just snuck up on me, or like she does something and she looks so broken. It's one of the. It's so good. So yeah. You just tired. No, bro. It just snuck up on me all of a sudden. <laughs> that moment there. Brilliant. She looks so good. She looks a mess. But also... What if I have a worse dream? Well, I'm sure we can handle any dream you have. What if I can let you kill us? <laughs> what? She what if I dream that you sent us away? Into the dark and me get hurt. Really hurt. You send us away out into the dark and my heart breaks right in half and I can't feel anything happy. Oh for my weeks God. and months and years until I can't stand it anymore and I, I have to die. Did, did this fucking from... conversation really happen? I hope this is in the mum's head and that little Nelly didn't actually fucking know all of that. Claire. And me, I poisoned myself for years and years until my blood turns into poison, my body breaks down. You send us out there into the dark, and the dark gets us a piece at a time over oh my years and years. God! And years in time on a silver table. Oh. It's my jaw wired shut. Fucking hell! With a needle in it. Oh, wow! And it was you that killed us. Fuck! Because you sent us out there. I did. The this is fu this Is this house making these children say this to this mum? That's fucked up because it's fucking wrong. What broke them is the mum's death combined with the fucking house torturing them for years. It's fucking lying to her. Saying that all of this shit's going to happen to her kids if she, if she sends them out there. If she, oh, fuck off. I still need to finish this scene. <laughs> right, let's play. Of course you're safe with me. Mom? <gasps> oh, this poor okay. mum. So the kids didn't say that. I'm fine, sweetie. I'm, I'm glad. You homeschool, don't you, Claire? I do. I think I understand that. My little one is better with me. I know it. I know it well. I feel like your little one is dead and you're imagining and just the, getting alive. ready for the world. I just... Is Abigail their child? And is she actually growing up? Because Mrs. Claire seems to think that she's got a child. And plus the homeschooling. You don't homeschool a baby. We'll see. We'll find out. It's like I'm a rock in my gut. It's just anxiety. No, it's not, oh, Mum. Trust your fucking gut. He's Trust it. Mind. I've always needed someone to keep me grounded. Keep me I'm just going to pause it there. It is in the middle of the scene, but I'm going to have to because the timing... But also, she should trust the fucking gut. As we all should. I'll be back for part two. Check the link in the description. Ta-ra!